We are live. I am recording. So, careful. All right. I am Wendy Watson with TBI Spiritual Health, CEO and spiritual therapist. I'm going to ask everybody to stand up for a moment. I'm going to do a little exercise. We're breaking. No, I'm not too That's nice for you. My hands are All right. Legs, hip, hip distance apart. Arms relaxed. And now. Knees slightly bent. As you inhale, bring your arms up. And as you exhale, push the energy down. Let's see. How'd that feel? Yes. Yeah. Yes. A little yes. grounding? Yes. Yes. She is in everything. Awesome. Raise your hand if you believe God is in everything. And I use the term God universally. So if you, if spirit, universe, Allah, Thor, Freya, if that resonates with you, by all means, do that. I personally do not think it's that God and energy, that everybody believes that both God and energy are in everything. So what I do is I work with energy. There's six points, and what I want to point out to you first, or what I want you to recognize, is that all of these lines connect and intersect at any given point, which means they all relate and affect each other. Does that make sense? And with energy of God being in the middle, just like the sun is the center of our solar system, so is energy and God as far as our energy systems. Make sense? So the first five is nutritional, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual energy. What you eat affects your moods, affects your mental capabilities. Affects whether or not you feel good enough to go exercise, right? Whether or not you exercise or at least get some movement, go for a walk, will affect your mental clarity and affect your mood. Can affect if you're feeling mental mentally clear, it will affect how you listen, how you tune into your spirit, how you tune into God. Your emotional state, anybody hear of emotional eating? Anybody eat a pint of ice cream or binge drink after a breakup? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So your emotions can affect your nutrition, can affect whether or not you feel well enough to go exercise, right? Binge drink ice cream. I had some whiskey and ice cream <laughs> Who here has sat at their computer for hours on end and started feeling like they needed to stretch, right? Their voice get tight, right? So reminding yourself to get up and to go move and to exercise all plays in a role in all of these things, right? When I get, after I've spent five or six hours on the computer doing creative stuff or marketing myself or whatever, I go out for a walk at least one lap around the lake outside my apartment complex just to get some fresh air, to get my body moving, to get the sun, to improve my mood, right? Oh, so how does this play an effect? And you're feeling low on energy, you're feeling bloated because you didn't eat the right things for lunch, right? Do you think your clients are going to want to buy from you? Do you think they're going to be more inclined? If you're not thinking clearly when they have a problem with the insurance and you're not communicating that effectively, do you think that's going to diminish their trust and you getting it done properly? Yes. Right. 
all day every day. I check in and ask my spirit what it wants to eat, what it wants to eat. When you are in alignment with yourself, you feel when all of this is in alignment, you feel like you have the minus touch. You feel like everything you touch turns to gold. Like you can close every deal. Like you can make everything happen. All your relationships are going well. You've got money in the bank. All of the things, right? But when it's not going well, you feel like the whole world is crushing around you. Like you can't do anything wrong. And you're broke and you're fighting with your spouse and you're having issues with your employees, right? So I help people get this move. How can you draw from one energy when one is low? How can you draw from the other five sources in order to replenish the one that's weak? So if you're Feeling emotional because it's that time of the month, or you just had a breakup, or whatever it is, or a client just fired you. How can you draw from one of these other energies in order to set yourself up for success? Now, who can guess what the last point is? I'm gonna give you all just a minute. We have physical, we already have emotional, nutrition. Who can guess what number six is? And I will tell you it's the most important energy. In this universe. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 when you leave for love, love for yourself to make sure you get the exercise and Remind yourself to get up and move. Love for your emotions if you are feeling emotional. Love and acceptance of that, but then changing it into what you want it to do. And setting yourself up to support yourself. Right? Love for choosing the right foods to eat. Right? Loving your body. Loving other people to where if you are feeling a little cranky, and you lead with love. <coughs> When you get home because you had a bad day at work, you don't take it out on your spouse. Right? Or if a client calls you and you didn't get good sleep that night, you don't take it out on your client. Right? So this is what I do. 70%, my goal is to have 70% of this flowing and in alignment with each other. They're working off of each other. 20% could be in the needs of improvement. And 10% is where you're fluctuating. You're getting rid of routines, habits, imprints, and bringing in new. That is my, that's my 70, 20, 10 rule in relationship to this. So who here can say that they actually have this going 70%? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Awesome. That means every every other one of you needs a higher. Can I ask a question? Yes, absolutely. Can you help me understand the differentiation between mental and emotional? So emotion is feeling, right? So joy, content, betrayal, all of those things. Mental is your mental facilities, right? So certain foods uh, increase the fluids in your brain in order to get the synopsis firing, get the mental clarity going, but it also affects your mood. So mental energy is more along the lines of focusing, thinking, math, all of those things. Does that make sense? Yes. Any other questions? Yes. Based on your experience, out of all those questions here, what tends to be the most frequent blockage, obstacle, or whatever 
that you've encountered with those things? Uh, spiritual, emotional, and then nutritional. Because no, but most of the most of what I hear is people will tell me, "Oh yeah, I heard the, I heard that voice of reason in my head. I heard that voice in my head, but I didn't know what it was, so I didn't listen to it." Well, what? So then, let's help you understand what that voice of reason is, so that you'll listen to it because it's there to guide you. It's there to help you through this chaotic environment that we call Earth, right? Most people do not have emotional intelligence. They don't know how to, most people can't define their emotions for themselves. I even had a client in Phoenix who didn't know what emotions were. She was uh, the alpha child in an Asian home and she wasn't allowed to know what her emotions were. She just, do, she just had to do what her parents told her to do. And so when she finally moved out, she found an app had a list that she could scroll through of emotions. And I was both happy and sad because she's in her 20s and she doesn't know how to how to define contentment, she doesn't know how to define anger. But happy because at least there's an app, there's something out there that she found that's useful for. Right? So a lot of people understand the words joy happy, angry, betrayal, but can you define it for yourself? Because once you define it for yourself, then you can project it. What you're projecting in your meetings, what you're projecting in your relationships, even if you don't, con even if you are not consciously aware or they are not consciously aware, you're still reading each other's energies. You ever walk into a restaurant and you're like, oh, the ambiance in there is so amazing. Okay? Or you meet somebody and you're like, I don't, yeah. I, I don't know about you, <laughs> right? That's that's the unseen energetic communication. So when you're in alignment with these, what you're projecting is your true self, your authentic self, and that is what people are going to feed off of. That is what people are going to buy. Is when you're really in alignment with all, all of this. Any questions? How do you think your life would look different if this was in a life? Anybody want to share? Sure. Okay. Well, I'm a bad jerk and it's really hard now. So I've been through a lot of following me up to my life. But when I finally learned how to love myself, it I learned how to be better, smart exercise, work on my emotional skills. You know. So it all started with learning to love myself. And because of that, I was able to love other people more genuinely. And how did that affect your connections with people? Were they deeper? <coughs> it's everything. It's everything. And I still find I have a wonderful family. They're not nearby, but I make catching in touch with them. They keep the same. I have friends that I've had for years and we still when we talk, it's like we never it's like even though we've been separated in many years, it's like we're still like friends with her. Yeah, I'm so grateful that I finally learned how to love myself first. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. So I want all of you, I believe all of you deserve that. I believe all of you deserve this. So scan this QR code. Get your phone. To, I know you guys have your phones. Don't put a stand there. Scan this QR code and buckle one on one with me. And let's talk about what your hiccups are, what your challenges are. Let's talk about being able to get past that speed bump that's preventing you from reaching that full or full potential. Right. And the first three people that book a meeting with me today. We'll get $500 off my 90 day peaceful path spiritual intensive. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I just want to let everybody know that I did three sessions with Wendy and I had a wonderful experience with her. So um, please give her a try. She does wonderful work. Yeah. 
Yes, so is Ryan. So we did we did a trade, and his work works. It's amazing. Try it out. I believe in all tools are helpful for someone. Okay. Absolutely. And so take the time and do the one on one schedule one on one with her. An idea if you want to do one on ones before or after these meetings, cafe right down down the hall, free coffee. You have this uh, that anytime uh, that you want. Feel free to uh, to utilize that and like source here in the in the tech center. So everybody have an awesome week and uh, stay warm. Yep. Weekend. Yep. See you next week.